Hello, I'm Patricia, Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body and Twin Flame Smerge. And today in this video, I want to talk to you about what this energy is dredging up for people. Aspects of past lives, aspects of really reviewing um, what has been in the past, and time that, you know, we have forgotten except for the emotions of what has happened to you, how it has hindered you, how it has limited you. And many times it's all of the false things that you really can't carry with you. In a small way, it's the baggage of the past. You could say it in a very simple way. However, this is lifetimes and lifetimes and eons and levels of stuff. You're not just shedding earth lives. You're not just shedding a skin. You are really getting some deep stuff out. And not only is it deep, it's been heavy. It takes a toll on the physical body. I'm here to talk to you about some of the things that the doctors in the medical community, while they do their best to be highly educated, will not know about. And that is the shift. Things are shifting. You are shifting. You're shifting out of the past, out of the shadows. And these all sound like little catchphrases, like shift out of the shadows. But the bottom line is it can be exhausting. There's parts of you that need to rejuvenate, that need to come alive again. And many times that started with the first impulse of love. The first thing that you felt. But many, of, many people have lost their youthful vitality. They don't know how to get it back. And based on the lives we've had and the lives of people we see around us, it does seem as though you're going to go that route also. Everything that runs in your family, everything that somehow he has limited you, and that's aside from injuries, things that have happened, impacts. If you have gotten hurt by someone in the past, or you have had a huge impact if you've had an accident, and you really can't seem to overcome those next steps of the healing. That is where I come in. But what about your love life? Because I talk to people sometimes and they say to me, Patricia, I've had these things going on. Sometimes it comes up as a secondary thing in their session. I've had this going on. I've had that going on. But maybe it's not twin flame related. Everything in your life is something in relation to you and your twin flame. Everything. What you like, what you do, what hurts you, what tuckers you out, makes you tired. And the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video is the ghosts and being ghosted and false twin. Now, with false twins... Those are people that you really can't define them. You don't want to call them a soulmate, but somehow they did something. They got everything in you riled up, and then all the false stuff started showing up, even down to the appearance. They may appear like someone who you vaguely feel like you should know, and yet there's something that just doesn't ring true. And there's something that some part of you, which is your heart, senses isn't somehow fully there. And yet people chase this. And they find out they're chasing an illusion. They're chasing something that really never was as gold as what they thought it was. It was just glittering. It was just something shiny for a moment. And then it somehow... All the tarnish showed up. What else do false twins do? Well, they suck out your energy. They can suck out your energy. 
In many ways, I don't even like to use the word false twin because it's just another soulmate that has learned how to suck out your energy or drain you somehow or suck your resources. And many times, that false stuff, that's still in marriages. If you're staying with a karmic partner, it's going to show up in marriages. What about ghosts? People talk about being ghosted. So for those of you that may not know, when people throw around the lingo, um, they people are borrowing terms from dating arenas. Dating people that just seem to disappear, fade into the woodwork, give you false information, never to be heard or seen again. And so hence the term ghost. But for twin flames, many times you have been each other's ghost. And so there's sort of a feel there of something vague that you can't quite pin your finger on. And you can't quite say to yourself, you know what, there's something about this person, but then they disappeared and I couldn't grasp it. And maybe they were just there for a season. How do you know the difference? Your heart knows. Your soul knows. And if you cannot know, it's time to take off the past. Take off the heaviness of the past that is making you feel the way that you're feeling. Now, my general disposition is upbeat every single day. And when I feel down, when I feel the energies of the collective, I'm not immune to it. I feel this stuff too. But I've learned how to shift it and get above it. Not just transcend it, but really get above it where I'm skimming it. How would you like to be able to do the same thing? I teach that. I teach people and I empower them. You don't have to tumble around in the washing machine with all of the rest of the boys and girls. So how does some of this actually feel on the icky side? Do you feel left? Does everyone leave you? Have you noticed that in your life? People leave you. They leave you by yourself. It really brings up your wounds of abandonment. Not just rejection. This is like a deep bereavement. Do you feel like everyone just somehow, you know, you're left there in the mode of being isolated and you feel bereft, you feel bereaved, you feel some form of grief. And yet you go about your day and you're saying, what's going on with my life? I still have to go to work. I still have responsibilities. Or if you're a parent, you still have children that you have to take care of. What are you showing the children? Are you showing them you know, a part of you that really isn't quite alive. Do you want your spirit back? Do you want to feel lively? And do you want these things that deeply affect the psyche? Because that's where the damage has been. It's been deep. And it's been long ago and far away. It's been due to some really heavy stuff. And as strong human angelics, we go along, we push through. But there are times when it is time to reach out and learn. And it is incumbent on you to learn about the brand new body template that is being offered here on earth. Because that body template doesn't let you hold it. That's a part of how I bounce back. It's not that I don't feel it. So I have gone through a really, really terrible time with, you know, some uh, illnesses, which I realize now were things that I needed to get through because of being a prototyper. That is who I am as a Blu-ray. I find the pathways and the methods and the way. That is my way and it is my trademarked way called Twin Flame Body. And I'm here to help you with that. Just like a top surgeon is here to help with something. Just like a top architect is here to design something. 
and part of the blueprint process. But you have to customize your blueprint, okay? Just because we come up with a grand design, it's still your life. And I help you with that too. When you meet with me, I help you with that. So does everyone leave you or do you have that sense? Because even if it's true or not, if you're feeling it, you're feeling it from somewhere. Karma. How much is karmic and how much is behavior? Can you even discern with these types of things what is behavior and what is karmic? Is it your karma to endure this? Well, I've got news for you. Ditch the karma. Get rid of it. I know how. Come and see me. Because I get things shifted within about three sessions for people. How much therapy do you think that would take people to go through some of this stuff? I know because I have people coming to me and they're saying, I've been going through two years of therapy with this and I just can't seem to budge it. Well, we'll get it budged because you need to get your sense of self back. And past lives is a huge factor. Do you want to know how many times you've been kicked to the curb in past lives? No. Why don't we just get rid of it? Get rid of it, get rid of it. Because no matter what you initially experience, you're not crazy. You're not here to let this stuff make you crazy or make you sick. And that's what happens. The longer that you hold it, the more you try to use your mind to do something where it needs to get out of your subtle bodies so that you can integrate what you need to integrate so that you can fill with the love you need to fill with so that you can get back to you. That's what I help do. I expedite it. I'm here to help you expedite the process. I do this in groups and I do it individually in one-to-one -one sessions. Female areas are affected, especially female parts of the heart. Do you know that there's parts of you that are feminine essence and masculine essence, no matter what kind of body you were born into. And some people don't like their bodies for various reasons. They think that their body betrays them. They think that their body is tricking them, or they think that the body is separate from the ethereal part of them. No. The natural state of being is that the etheric body actually envelops and helps to operate your body. This is how people actually will feel themselves again. And when it's too far away or it's attached to someone else, if you are attaching your energy to someone who has ghosted you, you're not going to feel yourself. If your energy is attached to someone who's false and they're still trying to hang on to it, okay, how do you know? They reach out once a year via a text for a hookup. Okay? Just say no. But it's not that simple as just say no. It has to be where you get rid of it. Okay? Get rid of it. Get rid of this stuff. Get rid of the, um, you could call them vampires. It doesn't matter because you know what? You're going to not feel well if you don't, no matter what you call it. That's what I'm saying doesn't matter. doesn't matter what the term is or what the label is that you give it. It's going to not make you feel well. And that's the part that you have to notice. And that's the part that you have to seek help on. That is what I'm here to help with. Heart. The heart complex, which includes the throat. These are not just female areas. They are feminine essenced areas of you. There is a masculine essence side to the heart as well. There are organs inside you that are energied either masculine or feminine. And it's that way on purpose because that's how we're doing this shift. That's how people are able to feel both energies and feel aspects of what it really is, okay? If you're out of balance, you're going to need to seek some assistance. 
How does that love balance look? Okay. Number one, ask yourself, are you losing yourself in this? Are you fatigued and you're feeling out of love? Are you fatigued and are you feeling out of love? I have a brand new session, which is the 5D heart and shield session. Do you have your 5D shield? Not if you're still feeling this stuff. So that is a brand new one. I recommend my Psyche Body Session and my 5D Heart and Shield, 5D Shield, for your connection to Soul Cosmic Heart. Get your heart and soul back. This is deep body stuff. This is not just someone can tell you, oh, hey, you were in France. You had a life in France. Because, yeah, that's true. What time of France's history were you there? Were you there during the bloody revolution? Were you there during the um, time of the Eiffel Tower? That person was criticized greatly for that, but yet that is an iconic landmark in Paris. Were you there during medieval times? Were you there, you know, when uh, everybody was tribes? You may or may not know, but Getting rid of the past means getting rid of the baggage of the past, the bad stuff, so that you can feel the good stuff and you can feel the good stuff return to you. So check out the links below. Check out my website or email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. My website is twinflamesmerge.com or twinflamebody.com where I also have my books. I have five books. My book right now that is very good is book five on several topics. I have essential oils and herbal supplements. I make recommendations to people so that they can get through this easily. In this session, I do make recommendations on what you should do, how to do it, for how long, to help you build your shield. That's what I call it, your 5D shield. It's a part of what people call the diamond light body, the brand new body. It is actually the five subtle body part of your twin flame body, which is actually a much higher body. And you have to be able to connect it to the human body. Ascension symptoms are still going to continue for people. I help expedite that too. So please have a good day. Reach out. Let me know. Check it out. Click the links below. Please subscribe. The more attention we get this, the more that we can get it out to other people who really, really need it. And perhaps you need it. Perhaps you need a boost. So come and see me. Thank you.